Okay, in this video we're going to be practicing um, factoring out the difference of two cubes with these problems right here. Now, as I've been talking about in the other videos, the formula that guides us here is if you have an x cubed and then you can subtract a y cubed from it, if you can find a way to rewrite whatever you're given in this way as the difference or the, uh, the difference of two cubes, then you can factor it. Right, because here they're asking us to factor. And the way to factor the difference of two cubes is to subtract both the first and second terms and then multiply that by the first base, x squared, plus x times y plus the second term squared. And we're just going to apply this formula in this video to these two examples right here. So in the first one, we have minus x cubed minus 8. So the first thing we want to do is rewrite this as the difference of two cubes. So minus x to the third, think about what that's saying. It's saying negative one times x to the third power. And then we're subtracting eight. I'm going to rewrite that as two to the third power as a cube. Now here, just to clarify, we should be specific about how we're going to rewrite this first term as a cube. I'm going to rewrite it as negative 1x to the third power, just like that, and then minus 2 cubed. So now we have it in a nice form where the difference of 2 cubes. And the reason I group this together like, like right here is because I know when I cube everything, I'm going to cube the x to get x cubed, and I'm going to cube the negative 1. Cubing a negative 1 is just negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1, which is still negative 1. Right, because negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1 times another 1 is another negative 1. So we can cube negative 1 and still keep it this way. And this actually allows us to quickly solve the problem because the factoring will be the first term, which is minus 1x, minus y, so minus 2, that multiplied by the first term squared. So, so when I say the first term, I mean this in the parentheses right here, we're squaring everything. 1 squared is 1, x squared is x squared, so we can just write x squared. And then we're going to add x times y, which in this case is going to be negative 1x times 2, right, this term right here. And then we're going to add 2 squared, right, the, the y term squared, or the second base squared. If we simplify all of this, we can rewrite this as negative x minus 2 times x squared. What's this going to be? Well, negative 1x times 2 is going to be negative 2x. So we're adding negative 2x. That's the same thing as just subtracting 2x. And then we're adding 4. So here's how I would factor this difference of cubes right here. Now the second problem we have 1 minus a cubed. So this is already written as a cube. Here, we can just rewrite this as 1 cubed. Because 1 times 1 times 1 is still just 1. We're just rewriting it in the form of a cube so we can use this factoring um, equation right here. So what do we do? We take x and subtract y from it. That's the first part of the formula. So this will equal 1 minus a. We multiply that by x squared, in this case 1 squared, which is just 1. We add x times y, or 1 times a, which is just a. And then we add y squared, which is just a squared. And we're done. And that's factoring uh, for that difference of two cubes. So I hope these examples helped, and maybe we'll look at some tougher examples in future videos. Thanks.